Hi, guys! <laughs> no? Hey, we had a first time chat. Search and soul. Tony's not here today. We blame Justin. Everything working? Check, check. Check, check. Check, check it out. Check it out. Oh, we hear you now. Awesome. Welcome, Search and Soul, to the first time. I mean, you might have been a long time creeper, first time chatter. Who knows? Maybe. Guess what today is, you guys? It's March 1st. It's the day after the leap year. Yes. It should have been. March 1st should have been yesterday. Yeah, but it's all, It's a very special day. Is it? In, in the lives of everyone. I think itself. it's Lauren's, Lauren's fiance's birthday today. It's Liz's birthday. Yes. <laughs> I was going to get around to that. Were you? We're working on it. Just beating around the bush yeah. a little bit. That's what we do here. I got old today, guys. But, but I also got a cake. Yes, but happy birthday, Liz. Thank, Thank you, Debbie. You got old, you're calling me. That's right. Justin and I are getting old together because we're the same age. She's just a month and a half ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. I got cupcakes, and you don't have cupcakes, so... Yeah, but think about them. Yeah, you can think about eating a cupcake. Yeah. I'll eat a cupcake. Do you want a cupcake, Lauren? Yeah, that's what she's been waiting for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, like, I'm not hanging out. I'm not leaving until those cupcakes are open. We've got confetti, strawberry, strawberry, yeah. vanilla. Strawberry. Who gets vanilla? When you've got all these other good options, I don't vanilla. know. Vanilla. Would you like a cupcake, Diddy? Not right now. Okay, he'll eat one later. Yay! Happy birthday! Thank you, dear. All right. Well, that was fun. Now we can do leather. If leather. we remember what we're doing. We are, so yeah, there was a tiny hiatus between the start and the finish of these bags, but these are soft bodied, double billet, round bottom saddlebags. Semi round. Semi round. They were, I was going to call them square, but they're semi round. Okay. Oh, did we call them square bottom before? I did, yes. Okay. That I was just my called them on the video soft saddlebags. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's like, screw you guys and all your words. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. And, so. And last week, we cut all these out, cut mm -hmm. all the parts, and I mysteriously. You mysteriously? Did, did a lot of stuff between times because I think I've got an hour's worth of. <laughs> Oh, here. Construction work to do here. Hold on, guys. There we go. Well, All right. Tell him, Diddy, you, you left on Friday, and then you came back on Wednesday. Stuff was already done. That's right. Yeah. It yeah. Was it was magical. An elf did this. That's right. <laughs> we did the lining. You had already had these cut, but you glued them. Or I think I glued them together, yes, didn't I? we glued the linings yeah. on. We glued them. You just trimmed them and stitched them. I stitched them and beveled the edge around that part. All right. And I put on these uh, billet loops yep. and riveted those on. Because you guys have seen I the... I might have us. done that to... I think you did it. Yeah, because here. I remember Luna was having... Yeah, she didn't particularly care about that. about that. Yeah. And I did the, the buckle shapes and I riveted them on. On both sides. Okay. And I... Uh, I act, the straps are doubled, mm -hmm. so uh, I glued them together and stitched them and trimmed them and yeah, doubled them. Yeah, because this was a, a like five to six ounce oil tan. Yeah, and you, I could have gotten by without without doubling those straps, but it just beefs them up a little bit. Yeah, makes it good for longevity. Yeah, makes it look good too. Makes it fancy. So today, what we've got are the gussets. And I'm going to try a pleated gusset. This is a pretty tight curve, but we're going to try a pleated gusset and see what happens. So, I'm going to... Oh, let's tell them what we're doing next week. We can work on that. Look at this! Pew, pew! We'll work on that later. Okay. That's next week's project. Yeah. But right now, I'm going to pleat this gusset. Okay. And I don't know if you all remember how I did it last time. But you can eat and talk to people while I pleat this gusset, but I better find the center of it first. Let's see here. So those go on to, are you going to sew it onto the back first or the front first? I'm going to sew it on the front first. All right. I'm going to sew it on the front. I kind of went backwards on that last pair and sewed it onto the back, and I should have sewed it onto the front. 
We won't tell anybody. No, don't tell anyone now. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> it's just easier to center things when you do the front first. Mm-hmm. Man, these pit, they really make the best cupcakes at nothing... Nothing bunt cakes. Nothing bunt cake. No, it's plural. There's at? an S. It's just across from the mall down the road. In the Brentwood Shopping Center, I think. I just brought a little anvil in to do this on rather than a piece of marble. I thought it might be a little quieter, but I was wrong. It's just me, Luna. Just saying hi. I don't think she minds that so much because it's not banging on the marble, too. And so are you concerned that the pleat might not hold as good because the curve is so tight? Well, yeah, with that tight curve, it won't be able to accordion as nicely. I don't. I, I may be wrong. We're going to find out. Then he's doing a spearmint. This is a spearmint, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just took our trading cards back to the other room. Otherwise, I'd throw out the spearmint card. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep that one. Like, away back there right. I should. That's a good idea. We'll put it on our little. Ron, are you in Sedalia? Oh, it's not very far away. I talked to a guy today who is going to come in for a novice tooling class tomorrow. And he moved up here, I think he said from Alabama, specifically because of SLC. No. He said that was the main reason he moved. Yes. I'm and serious. That kind of in your life. That's crazy. That's awesome. I love that. That's one of the coolest things I've ever heard. Yeah. Oh, good, Cobra. Um, Hope you love it. Oops. Throwing rulers. I don't know how good this, this leather is going to hold this. You think it would have done more better if you would have wet it? Uh, I don't think it would have taken much water. That's pretty waxy. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe yeah, it'll just make it easier for you to sew it together and then it'll yeah. just be what it is. Yeah, that's true. It'll hold. It's doing something. Yeah. Don't worry about cracking the grain when you do this. Yeah, because it's got plenty of oil in it. Well, I don't think there's a way to avoid it either. You guys be pleased to know that I worked on our schedule for the next few weeks here in the live studio. And we'll be taking a small hiatus from saddlebags. We still have two more left to do, but they are more specific. These are, I'm going to call these generic saddlebags. I mean, they're specific to where they hang on the saddle, but they're generic in their style. You can put whatever you want inside of them. <laughs> And the next two that we are going to make will be more specific to very particular needs of a cattleman. Because yeah. we got the medicine bag, and then what was the other one? A candle bag. Oh, a candle bag. So maybe that one's not so yeah. specific. Yeah, the medicine bag is the most specific. Yeah. Pacific. Pacific. <laughs> it's very Pacific. <laughs> No 
Okay. Oh, I can still got half of this one to do. Ooh, Dana has questions about the python skin that she got. Um, there are some exotic leather conditioners slash cleaners that you can buy. I don't think that the knees foot oil would hurt the python skin, do you? I doubt that it would penetrate it very much. I think, the, don't they have kind of an acrylic finish on them when they, when they tan them? Or do mm, they not? Not these, not these big old crazy pythons. No. I, they're still in crust. It so. probably wouldn't hurt them, but it might kind of make them soggy. Yeah. I think, like, I hydro dipped mine, and then I was going to spray a finish over the top of it. I haven't tried to put the acrylic finisher on it. Have any of you guys out there been working with those python skins that you, that you got? It brings out the color. Ron, this... You didn't split this gusset down, did you? This is just full weight? That's full weight. So yeah. five to six ounces. Full yeah. weight. It's just the leather. <clears throat> if you want to... You want me to start gluing? Well, you'll have to kind of scratch a little bit on this edge. Okay. Probably. We start over. Okay. One of these days, I'm going to get Denny to switch over to aqua. <laughs> Where are gas? One of these days, I'm going to get you to switch over to contact cement. It is contact cement. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a fan of it works, don't fix it. <laughs> Does this go on the outside, Denny? Uh, yes. We yes, it'll it'll go just like this, just like that. So it goes on the inside, so we don't need to scratch oh, the that's, outside. That's right. Yeah. When I started, I made a scratch mark on. That's it. all right. It'll it'll, it'll work, work out. <laughs> it'll disappear. And this is why I work here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna start gluing. Yes, you give can me, glue. Give me that glue. <laughs> we'll have to scratch this. Yes. Yes. This is. Because this is lined on the inside, so we'll scratch this to put the bag on. That's all right, I got you. <laughs> You're my spotter. I know. You spot all the things that I'm doing. <laughs> That's where the term came from. Yeah, I don't think, I would do light coats with the Needs Foot Oil, just going back to that snake, if you're going to do any at all. There is some exotic specific conditioners and cleaners that you can buy. Um, we sell one from Angelus and may, maybe one from Feebeans. I know there's one that's an aerosol and then one that's just like a, like a hairspray spritz kind of situation um, that's a non-aerosol. I wonder what uh, Vic four would do. A big four might might be good. And I, would you put it on the back or would you put it on the scales? Well, I think if I was doing it, I would put it on the scales okay. because it's, it's liable to bleed all the way through anyway. Yeah. And, and if you don't, if you put it on the back, it might kind of leave it blotchy in spots. Yeah. I know I didn't do anything before I hydro dipped the couple of samples that, that I did. I did not treat them at all. I just left it as is and uh, just did the hydro dipping. And then before we did dyeing, because we did do a couple samples where we took Angelus and Feebeans and then also the Fenici dye, but I'm going to recommend that you use the alcohol-based Angelus or Feebeans dye because you'll get a much brighter color. Um, we didn't do anything to the skin before we did that. We just cut a swatch off the tail, or one of the ends, I assume it was the tail, and we, we just started dyeing. Um, so if you want, if one of the ones that you got was more on the brittle side, you could attempt to oil it. If you have big four, you might start there. About 
that. Okay. In case you're wondering, I'm just folding this about in half. I fold it in the center to make the center pleat, and then the outside pleats, I just fold it in half of what I already folded in half. <laughs> makes the math easy. Yeah, <laughs> and that's good for me. <laughs> are we and, are we double coating this? Yeah, I, I think it would be a good idea. Okay. Because this, this is gonna be a a fight probably a little bit to get these to go around the corner. Yeah. And this leather isn't, like, it has an oil content to it, but it's not oily to the point that the glue isn't soaking in. So if you do have a leather that you're using that is oily to the point that your contact cement is no longer penetrating, you can attempt to rough it up and see if that will alleviate any of it. Or you could try our Bulldog um, Latex contact cement because that is produced specifically for oily leathers that regular contact cement won't stick to. That's right, Dean. 58 today. <laughs> uh, this is just master's contact cement. 58. That sounds good. I could just be 58 for a while. <laughs> yeah, until you're 59. Exactly. <laughs> then you'll change over. That sounds like a plan. Just be old for a while. And then... You're already used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah. No, um, I was really excited. The The color does, that is one thing, Dana, like whenever we were dyeing the hides, whenever you use like a bright dye, like the green, the yellow, the orange, those kind of like really vibrant colors, it brought out the contrast of the, the python skins between the natural like gray scales and white scales and the different, like it made everything pop more, which was really cool. And I think really just oiling is fine. like if that's the way you wanted to use it. I don't think that that's a bad thing. Um, you can put wing divider. Okay, you can put some sort of finish on top of it. If you were going to put a finish on the on Python, what would you use, Denny? Oh gosh, good old Master's Quick Shine. I don't think you could beat that. Okay, and that would get in and around all the scales. Yeah, yeah. You might. What I do when I. When I put a finish on anything that's tooled or something like that, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll spray it on one direction and then I'll turn it and spray in another direction. That way it gets in all the little yeah. nooks and crannies, as you know. Yeah. But do light coats because yeah. of that. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it also needs to be able to move. My grandma always told me that getting old isn't for sissies. <laughs> that was her motto. She died at 98 years old. She would have been 100 this year. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> The only time that boy tries to come in this room is when we're on. And he knows better. Every time. Oh, no, that was Ryan Ward. Oh, okay. I thought that was the other one. I was like, he knows better. He just wants to be on camera so bad. Then he should come back. He, he wouldn't leave me. I have all the confidence in the world of that. <laughs> Thank you. 
See? Told you. He's back. Did you think I left and wasn't coming back? Tessa said I was going to have to finish because you left. And I said he wouldn't leave me. This I know. This you know. <laughs> You're right. All right. That one's doubled? That one's doubled. This one is almost doubled. you caught the scratch deal. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Well, we could have done an inside out scene. Yeah, you do like to do that role. You do yeah. that a lot. I, I, knew, I knew where he was coming from because he does like to do his gussets. He'll sew them face to face and then he'll flip the gusset around the yeah. edge and then he'll sew it front to to back. Right. Like front to inside and then you'll you'll finish the back yeah, edge. You do yeah. that. That's how Denny makes a purse. If Denny's going to make a bag, it's going to be face to face, roll that edge and then sew it back yeah. to face. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, the the front side is the the most visible side, yeah. you know, and hide that, that stitch seam <laughs> and the edge. <laughs> and it's one less edge that you have to finish. That's right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Denny has ever gotten... To the the edge finishing, um, that's not your like thing for leather work. Yeah, well, like like it doesn't make you the most excited to yeah, like finish I, the I edges. I love just just a water burnish. You know? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I've always done. And by the way, Denny keeps brought, it pretty simple. I brought this to maybe finish oh, these edges okay. today because I had it back there and I don't know why. So I thought I have it. We're gonna use some brown token all today. Yeah. We did just get in a new a new uh, edge finishing product from Angelus. They have come out with a burnishing um, gum. Oh yeah. Yeah, and we just got our sample. We're gonna carry it. We haven't like it's probably being ordered, so it's not here yet. You can't buy it. Please don't call. The office will shoot me. So let's not do that. Um, but here in the next few weeks, we should have the stock and we'll, we'll be making item numbers, but you can mix it. It's a very clear product and you can mix it with their paints, um, in order to do a colored edge. And so I'm, I'm very excited. Andy and Ryan, uh, tried it out yesterday and they did a bunch of different things. They used it to like dye on the front. They used it to finish edges. Really cool stuff yes. So I'm very, very excited about it. Once we have it, um, I think I already have a video on the docket here for the end of the month where I've asked Andy to come in and we'll, um, we'll do something. I wanted to kind of incorporate it in with the stone necklace that we do because I think it'll be a fun option for coloring the leather uh -huh. and finishing the edge whenever we do that stone inlay um, choker. So very excited about it. It's really cool. Angelus makes, yeah, Angelus makes good products. They really, they, they spend a lot of time in their R&D process, and they really, when they put something out, it's usually pretty darn fantastic. And so Andy and Ryan were a little bit skeptical at first, but once they, once they kind of got the hang of it and figured out what they, you know, like what it was for and, and how to use it, it's pretty neat. So that is coming down the pipeline. Like I said, we literally just had our new item meeting, um, Two days ago, decided we were going to carry it, so we got to get it ordered and, and get it going through. But very exciting. Mm, Denny, so if you're laying out your parts on your hide to cut this specific bag that we're making, would you tend to cut this gusset out of the belly section that was nice and stretchy? That would be very good, and and that's another thing. All of your long, like strap goods and stuff, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you you lay it out where you can you have enough room in that piece of leather. Absolutely. Because a lot of those long parts, you know, you end up cutting all your big, like your bag fronts and, and forget your about your straps and stuff. And then when you get done, you've got a bunch of short remnants left, mm -hmm. and they aren't long enough for your strap goods. And then your Twitter paid it to figure out what to do about your straps. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right usage of that word, but I've been using it all week since Kevin used it last week. So, or maybe was that just Wednesday? Uh, 
Did was that was that on Friday when we were doing the trading the trading cards? Yeah, that was okay. Friday. I had them in two videos back to back, so I, now I'm confused about when he said what. This is sticking fairly well. Oh, Larry got... Larry, did you get one of those heavyweight Herman Oak sides last week? Yeah, those were awful. I felt bad for our shipping department. And then I, I, I would, like, roll up everybody's order, and there were several really heavy orders because a lot of you ordered a bunch of veg tan. And I was like, these poor... Um, delivery people, the... The package carriers services. I was like, they're not going to be happy with these yellow, <laughs> the yellow tape boxes this week. Oh yeah. Now the the great thing about all the Angelus stuff is it usually works together and you can use it in conjunction with each other. All the paints mix together really nicely to make different colors. Um, and then a lot of their products are just, they're, they're really, it's a really versatile brand that you can do a lot of things with. Did you get it all in there, Denny? I got it. Okay. I'm getting ready to stitch. I don't know if you guys saw that because I wasn't paying attention. I was gluing, but when we do the <laughs> next one, I'll make sure you see it. Okay. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll get this out of the way. That out of the way. Is that lamp going to be in the way? I'm out. No, nope. you're good. So I try to work around it. Surprising. Surprising how well it went? Yeah, I didn't say how. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't break a needle. Yeah. Did it. It made a nice, nice stitch line, too. Then he's so think? proud of himself right now. I am. I am. It looks so good. Proud. Look at that, guys. It's a good Friday. <laughs> See, I brought you some luck today. You did. You did. You and your birthday. <laughs> it's a good luck day. All right, let's make sure, let's let's try to assemble this in this region. Oh, over here where people can see it? Yeah. You mean? <laughs> and I will cut and burnish. Whenever you started 
uh, sew in on the machine. It reminded me of on My Fair Lady when she's at the horse races and they're playing that song like and as the horses start to race and it's like real slow and like steady and like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and then it gets like quicker and quicker and quicker as the horses start going. Anyways. That's when I get to uh, more accustomed. I feel I feel free. You he's know? feeling he's feeling the machine. He's feeling yeah. it go. It's like I got it. Anyways, it just reminded me of that. That's one of my favorite movies. I don't think I've ever watched it. To tell you the truth. What? Um, maybe parts of it. Eliza, do you look, it's so it's an oldie. I know. Okay. <laughs> we should have a movie night. I'll dress up again. I went. and They did a play. Um, it. Juanita K. Hammonds last year, and I went with my sister. It was a really good time. You can backstitch on a cobra? Yeah, there's a whole lever. Yeah. What do you have, Tessa? Do you... I think there's only... Um, I think there's like two machines that don't offer a backstitch option on the Cobra, and one is the patch machine because you can literally like turn the needle. Not the patch machine. Um, is it the patch? Yeah. Yeah, it's the patch yeah, machine. Because you turn the whole. Yeah, the whole needle turns around. The whole little whatever. It's amazing. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Um, and then I believe the roller foot doesn't have a reverse. Whatever the post, like a. Yeah. Like a 30, is it 36, 18? That's something that has a post that comes up and it yeah. rollers on both sides. Yeah, I forget sure what model what number, number is. is yeah. Something. Um, anyways, that does not have reverse. But all the other ones have reverse. So if you have a three or a four, you just kick your, your stitch length lever you all the way down. Or is it up? Is it up? Is it? Down. Down. Well, this, that one is down, lever. but with the the three and the four. Oh, yeah. Is it uh, up or is it down? Yeah, up. Okay. Up. A 26. Yeah, there's a lever on the front. What have you been... Have you used that lever on the front? Just right on the side of the, the, the main body of the head? You push the lever down, and it goes in reverse. It's right under the stitch length knob. My dear sweet lady. It's a... I love you so much right now. I'm <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I feel like we failed you a little bit. Yeah, go run to your machine and be like, what is this lever? Yeah, stitch something on it back okay. and forth about 20. You can use up a whole <laughs> spool of uh, bobbin thread just going back and forth. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you want to do. But yeah, but hey, I'm, remember how I told you to work over here? Oh, yes. Okay, thanks. I do. <laughs> doesn't mean I did it, but I remember <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, my God, there is a lever. Oh, my God, I wish I could give you a hug right now. <laughs> yeah, just, and, and you want to make sure that you completely depress it. Because if you only partially depress it, that is literally how much your foot moves backwards. So if you don't get it completely depressed, it will not fall back into the same holes as you stitched forward with. So you want to make sure, and that's the same whether you have the 26 or the 3 or the 4 with that, although the 3 and the 4 is more difficult because you physically just move it, you don't have to hold it, it just pops into place. Right. But this one you want to make sure that you completely depress, otherwise it may not, the, the foot may not retract the full amount of your stitch. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, just push till it won't push anymore. Yeah. That's all you And then just do. keep it that way until down. you get all the way back. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to hold on to that lever. Yeah. You can't let it go. <clears throat> You've never seen My Fair Lady? I have never seen it, I don't think. What? T tell me about what it was about. Um, so it's set in England, in, and um, it is um, Audrey Hepburn and um, what's his name, guys? <sighs> Dr. Doolittle. Who's, who was that? I don't know. I didn't see that either. Well, in any case. Whatever his name is. And he is a, like, a phonics professor for lack, like he, Harrison. Max Harrison? Rex. Rex. Rex Harrison. Thank you. Um, he, he specializes in languages and dialects. That's his thing. 
and Audrey Hepburn, her name is Liza Doolittle. So, you know, I just kind of have an affinity because she's Eliza. She's Eliza. Yeah. Um, and she she's just a commoner. She sells flowers. Her father is a drunk and he's off singing all the time at the bar and I don't know shacking up with some lady, which, you know, back in the day, that wasn't a oh, very yeah, good thing to do. Uh, <laughs> it was scandalous. Yeah. And so, um, he, how do they, so they meet outside. She, it starts to rain. He's at, he's at some play somewhere, you know, like he's at some particular fancy spot in town. And he, he went to some sort of a, a an event where all the fancy people are. And he meets up with this other person that also is a dialect specialist. Anyways, and he he meets up with his buddy. And somehow they start talking. I, mm, I'm going to get the story wrong here. In any case, Liza, she tries to sell them some flowers. And he starts criticizing the way that she speaks. Because she does not enunciate correctly. She says acorn instead of acorn? Probably, yeah. <laughs> ah! She's very, you know, I, I don't know what to call that. I'm not, I'm not British. I know that you guys have, like, dialects are a very, like, big thing in Britain. You know, you, you can tell what class a person is by their dialect. Anyway, so she's, she's a, she's a low, low class person. And so eventually he... He takes her under his wing and he teaches her how to speak like a lady. And so she is housed with him. He's clothing and, and feeding and, and he's taking care. Of, but he has this bet with this colonel fella that he can pass her off as royalty at um, a fancy horse uh -huh. event, which is why they're at the horse show event. Or maybe they're going to go to a ball where like, I don't know, some emperor is or I don't know, something like that. But anyway, so he teaches her how to speak correctly. And, um, yeah, she would say spearmen. That's exactly correct. <laughs> but so do they fall in love? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, they do. I love it. It's a very cute, it's a musical. And there's, there's lots and lots of songs. And it's just... It's, it's one of those movies with an intermission because oh, yeah. it's that old. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Is that where that came from? That is where that came from. Oh, I have heard that. Yes. But she doesn't, and then it's just, it's, it's so cute. It's so cute. And she wears the most beautiful clothes. When my sister and I went to the play, we dressed up really fancy. And all the little matrons that, like, seat you at the theater, which one of them was my fifth grade teacher, which I loved so much. She's like, this is what you do when you get old. You hang out at the theater. And I was like, that's what I'm going to do when I get old. I'm going to hang out at the theater, and it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> um, but so we got all dressed up to go to the play because she wears just the most amazing outfits and dresses. I think before I let you see me, Colonel this, Pickering. Mm -hmm. I'm going to trim those gussets. Okay. I'll let that cement set up a little bit. Okay. I messed up. I didn't watch you. <laughs> you didn't spot me. Oh no. We've had a we've had a situation. All right, Denny, well, now you're going to have to fix this. <laughs> I'll fix it. <laughs> All right. You have to fix it, too. We're going to need one of those. Oh, yeah. Sorry, folks. I saw that you were caught on that, but I didn't realize what it was going to do. Tune What's in next it? week. Sure. All right. Well, that was fun. I'm very. At least you didn't break my lizard. 
Well, that's what, gonna be weird now. What did I not break? <laughs> you didn't. You didn't break my Labradorite lizard. Oh yeah. My little chameleon. Look Boy, am I lucky there, huh? Look at that. He's got some good fire. Isn't he cute? What type of glue are you using? This is Master's contact cement. It's a live show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, it is. I wish I would have had it on a Okay. Well, that just threw me all sorts of off. Let's see here. Where were we? I was going to rough up this edge. <laughs> William, are you a conductor? William is. Yeah? William Martin? I know William very oh. well. That's cool. William is everything. Are you a plumber too, William? <laughs> I think that's probably not in his resume. I'm sure he enjoyed what I just did, though. <laughs> You used to be a plumber or a conductor. It blew my mind. So my husband, my dear poor Christopher, he cannot hear music to save his life. It does not compute in his head. And which is really fun when taking ballroom dancing classes. There's a lot of things that don't compute in his head, but there's a lot of things that do compute in his head. <laughs> yes. Um, and so I have been... Every, every so often, we'll get on, I'll get on a little rant to attempt to help him understand how music works. Because he's just like, how do all these people just know when to play the next, like, beat or whatever, you know, like, play the next note? He's like, I don't understand. And I'm like, well, you have a, like, you know, music has time and you count and then, and, and, but it blew his mind when I was like, and then there's this person that's the conductor and they control time. They tell you how long each note will take in each measure according to how they want to the, the song to sound. And he just didn't he that was too much. That was too far. He couldn't he couldn't wrap his head around that. That, that was too much. Anyways. Um it's been a fun journey. He's not there yet. I keep, our dance instructor says that, you know, he's been teaching like some, he's like, it's usually men. I don't think he's said he's ever had any women that didn't hear time, but I'm sure it's happened, but maybe they don't take ballroom dancing classes. <laughs> Anyways, he was like, after he's like, I've had somebody after 10 years finally get it. Like it finally just worked. Quick. Yeah. Not a plumber. <laughs> Ooh, a fluorite elephant. Do you still have it? You should send pictures. Oh, fun. Okay, which one am I ready for? Oh, probably neither of them. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Let's hear. Sorry, I'll get I'll get a coat on this. I think one coat on this part will be fine because the turn's okay. already made. How far up are we going? Uh, let's see here. I didn't, oh, that's, oh, maybe did you already mark it a little bit? Uh, it's probably not visible. Let's go with this. That is, you could do some damage with this. <laughs> <laughs> I have done a lot of damage with it. <laughs> Good gracious. All right. and, I, and I would go just a little bit short of that. Though. Okay. You want to mark that other back for me? Here, you yes, can I you will. can scratch up that other back. Okay. I can, I'm allowed to scratch this one, huh? You are allowed to scratch this one. A back scratcher. <laughs>
If anybody's over in Tulsa or Oklahoma City, say hi to Tony. That's where he is today. Got, I think he said he had two games in Tulsa and one in Oklahoma City. Don't quote me on that. I feel like that was right, but I'm not 100% sure. All I know is he printed live shopping orders for me this morning because he's a good fella. And just like every time he leaves the day before, he doesn't check the printer. So I paper. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't get glue everywhere. I mean, it's to glue on. That's a John Wick tool. That is a John Wick tool. Is anybody Dune fans out there? I went and saw the new Dune last night. It, yeah. 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 Yeah, because we had just we had just finished rewatching the first one, and Chris was like, "I wanna I wanna watch it while it's fresh." So. Yeah, he was telling me about it while we were waiting for oh. him to come in here. He said it's probably one of the best movies he's seen in a long time. It was good. Zendaya just kills it, though. Yeah, she. And then I, what's the what's the other guy in it? I don't know his name. But he's really good. And then I love um, the Spanish guy that plays the... Um, Timothy Chalamet. I always forgot to say no. last time. But he's a good actor, too. Yeah. I always... It's... it's Christopher Walken. <gasps> awesome. I didn't... I mean, I didn't know that Christopher Walken was in it. And then he shows up pretty early. And, like, my, like his voice. I just... Christopher Walken always gets me. His cadence, like, just his speech pattern. Like, he started talking, and I just started giggling. Like, I couldn't help it. He has one of the most iconic voices ever. I love how you're over here just chatting away about movies, and then he's just trying his best to catch this thing. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, no, I'll succeed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying. It'll happen. <laughs> Let's, let's see. I just dry in some glue. No, it's a it's a great array of actors. Florence Kurt. What is what is this a Spanish guy's name? Spanish guy is a Spanish guy. He he's one of the main characters. He should be. He's the same guy that was in the 007 movie. Is Javier Probably. Uh, Yeah, scars. No. This this guy. Yeah. Javier. Yeah. Javier. He is. He is a country for an old man. Hoot. I, I always remember him as the 007. He's the bad guy. And then, like, he's the one that, like, eats the eats the cyanide pill. Yeah, and his, like, half of his face gets melted off. He's a good actor. Yeah, he is. He is uh, good. He did a movie with Jennifer Lawrence called Mother. And yes. It's a strange one. Like, you have to understand the movie. I watched it three times. But it was Oh yeah, all of these saddlebags could be made into a nice purse. Just adjust the the top. Mm -hmm. This would be a big purse. Have you seen the size of some of these purses out there? Yeah, Denny, I think this is a medium sized purse. Oh, is it? Yeah. Not big. No. Women are crazy. And I'm one of those, so I can say that. <laughs> I carry the tiniest bag. Like, my bag is this big. It's like slightly larger than my cell phone. Yeah, I don't really know if these accordions are going to do anything once it's together. Oh, 
this is going to be the fun side. Yeah, I don't think there's a good way for you to get that. They'll just have to pretend that they can see what the sewing machine is doing. That is right, Dean. It's just sewing. Nothing special. Just the magic of looping thread together. Did y'all notice we had a reverse on this machine? <laughs> oh, poor Tessa. <laughs> I'm only joking with you. <laughs> Hi, Liz. You wanna you wanna burn this up too? Sure, I'll burn it. Okay. I'll burn something. I tried that trick one time. Just said we it was just a one time deal. I don't want to burn the hide. Thanks. Me either. I did it on a piece where I had to sleep the whole back with like a belt strip. Mm -hmm. And it was like a four inch wide belt strip, so it was a lot of masters. And yeah. I was concerned for my house for like three and a half seconds. It's like, who has the lighter? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you smell? I'm the one that has the lighter. This is like when I'm looking for my cell phone and it's in my hand. I've done that more times than I care to admit. I hunted for my glasses at home one time for about 30 minutes. And finally, I went into the bathroom hunting them and I looked up and I was wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it fun? Yeah. <laughs> There was one morning we were headed into work and I, I pulled out of the driveway and um, like maybe gone like five or ten feet down the road. And I realized that, that everything looked weird in the world. And uh, <laughs> I was like, I don't think I put my contacts in this morning. Don't think I did that at all. So we turned back around and I put my contacts in and we left again. <laughs> Shannon discovered that lights aren't supposed to do the sunburst thing when she got glasses for the first time. All right. Oh, and now we need to scratch up that line. Yeah. You know, honestly, this is probably, this probably would have just been fine with just the one bend in. Yeah. Just a single, single pleat. Yeah. I don't. But it made it easier to stitch, I do believe. Yeah. So those, those pleats really didn't do much. But it is going to fold in at the top, just kind of that once. So now, we're almost there. Where does this go? Right about like that. <clears throat> yeah, I would go about right there. Right there? I uh, just kind of split the difference on, yeah, right there. Okay. Take my super stabber. Why is this thing so fat? What are you doing? What are you doing with this? What do you do with this? It's called a, a spike or a, a scratch all, uh, just for punching holes and making things bigger. And this is huge. Yeah. Well, compared to the ones we sell here, you used to have these. I know. I'm just wondering what Osborne, like, what was the intent? Why? 
You're using it right now. It's so big. Yeah, but it works so well. Yeah, but so does the little teeny one that they sell too. <laughs> well, there are times when you wish you had this one. All right. I'll take your word for it. I've been doing leather work for a minute, and I don't think I've made m met that time yet. Hi, Lames. What's up? It's not going to be. Wallering out a lace hole. I guess that is true. That one wouldn't quite get to a really big lace hole. I don't do I don't do any lacing. Maybe that's my problem. Trim up your brush over here. It's got a. I need a It's new got a one. wily hair. I need a new brush. I, I've got one at the house. I'll bring it just for you. Don't we sell these? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure we do. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Alright, there's that for you. There's this for you. Thank you. Alright, so next Wednesday, I'll just go ahead and talk about it because we're running close on our time here. So next Wednesday, we're going to be doing this guy. We had somebody send in a, a picture and say, hey, could you do a little holster style pattern? This is a back of the waistband uh, in line with your belt. You ask what to call it? Yes. Small of the back. Small, small of, the, of back. the back holster. Small of the back. Small of the back holster. So we'll have a pattern for this specific kind of setup. Once again, you can adjust it to fit your specific gun needs, but I assume you're not going to carry anything too much bigger than this behind your back because that would be uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 So in any case. Yeah, that's a large frame semi-automatic, so yeah, that, that would be about as big as you would need. Yeah. So we'll be doing this. This should just be a quick Wednesday video, and then we'll have a little free pattern uh, that you guys can download. I think the boys are working on that. And, uh, and then on Friday, we're going to do a leather tie. Yeah. And Denny's going to do some tooling on a leather tie. It's super cute. He had uh, one of our customers brought one in. And gave us the pattern for it. So we'll be passing that along. And then I think uh, the Wednesday after that, Denny will, will do some painting on the tie, or we'll do some kind of fun coloring, and then I'm going to just hydro dip a plain one. So, I'll bring in some hydro dipping stuff, and we can do that. We'll color together. Uh -huh. No, it'll have a little strap that goes around your neck that buckles.
And I don't know if we'll have a tooling padding pattern ready for it, but we'll at least have the outline done. And you guys can do your own tooling pattern. I'm going to try to get Denny to do some paisley for me. Well, I'll try to do some paisley for you. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't mark it. Actually, the pleat will work. Yeah? Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> sort of, kind of halfway a little bit. Yeah. That's how we do things here. Scissors down! That makes sense. I didn't talk about it. <laughs> Will there be a pattern available? Yes, we'll have a pattern for the the holster. I'm sure there's probably something. <laughs> All right, look at that. Gotta clean up some glue. Got a little overzealous with my glue here, but that's all right. It should come off pretty yeah, good with an eraser. Yeah. Especially this type of leather is easy to get that stuff off. Yeah. Oh, for the tie. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a pattern available for both the, the holster and the tie. Like I said, probably no tooling pattern for the tie. So you guys will just have to figure that out on your own. We might have one eventually, but the tooling pattern takes a lot longer to trace out than just an overall pattern to make it. And so by the time next week comes along, I doubt we're going to have both. But it would be fun. I could do an overlay of the python and then tie-dye that. Not tie-dye. Hydro dip. I've been attempting to tie-dye leather, and I haven't had great results yet. I've had some results. I wouldn't call them good. <laughs> if you made a Canadian tie from snakeskin, would it be a Monty Python? <laughs> Python, maybe he meant one. What's a what's a Canadian tie? Is there something special about the, the ties that you have in Canada? I've only been there like twice, so I, I can't say for sure. Three times? Three times. What did I do now? <laughs> Broke the frame. Oh yes, that's what I did. <laughs> I think it'll go I think it'll go 
think, I think it's okay. I think it just needs. We can get a new friend. The picture's okay. Right, just a blank screen. Or on the table. your friend fell off on your leather rougher tool did the tips of the material the metal break off as the things no these huh? still all have their little bendy bits how hard are you using it because that seems if you're breaking off, if you're breaking off all these, I don't scratch very hard because you don't need to like scratch through the leather. You just want to rough the surface yeah, up. Just, just rough it. Yeah. Michael, you might be over roughing. How long does one of those tins last? Today? One of which? Those saddle soap tins. Not very long. Uh, actually, quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> Did you use the same shearling from the time you opened it? No. 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 The shearling gets moldy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're going to... You're moving. I am moving. Because oh. I wanted to make sure that Denny's in the shot here. Am I? Yes, you're good. I don't... Oh, good call. Not, this is not a good weight. See, now this is what this thing is for. Mm hmm. Yeah, that little one. It wouldn't really open that whole much. It just seems so. It just seems. Well, you're not. You just, just have never seen anything like that. <laughs> just, you're amazed by it. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. So what rate are you doing this time? This is just a, a cross stitch. I'm not going to do that fancy braid. And you saddle soaked your lace? Yes, it makes it slide through the hole easier. Well. I think it just made you eat your own words. You can do it. Maybe I should do this. Maybe you should. <laughs> there you go. Denny says, yeah, that's right. You can do that. You can struggle bust your way through this. See how you like it. It just, it's yeah, dark. Michael, that sounds good. It's dark under there and I can't see anything. I have a solution for this. Flashlight? Yeah. Well, make sure. Got a cell phone with the light. Does that help? Or does it... Yes, it did. Okay. Look, this helps. Takes two people to lace one of these, you guys. It's just like working on the car with your dad. That's, that's what we're doing. I'm doing leather work with my dad. It's perfect. <laughs> How long did you cut your laces? I don't know. It was probably four feet long, three or four feet. However long felt good. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I didn't have enough of this. Because you remember when we were talking about what parts to cut first? Yes, sir. I didn't leave enough to cut lace out of it. Okay. 
Are you wanting to buy one of those those um, sneaker kits? It depends. It depends on what size you're looking for. I know a lot of people. We don't we don't sell them here. I know a lot of people. They'll sell out what they have, and then it takes a minute for them to get back in. I think you can buy them through sneaker kit, but then you're buying them from somewhere in Europe, and you have to pay the shipping on that. Um, otherwise, I believe Maker's Leather sells them. Um, oh, I'd have to look it up. We did. I think we listed everybody that you could get them whenever we did the little the sneaker kit here. We had one of our customers. He built me some shoes. Justin's going to Google it for you. Just, I, you should be able to type in sneaker kit, and I think you should get everybody that sells them. Mm, District Leather Supply. Uh, yeah, I got Maker Supply. They had a few in. And you just have to wait for people to get the size that you're wanting back yeah. in. That probably looks like they're the hardest. That gonna do it? Eventually. Sort of. <laughs> All righty, folks. Those are our large, softer bodied, not tooled. they be not bad the pleat kind of works yeah no it's all right justin you're gonna go over to this other one over here maybe there we go that's better these are just too big for any of our any of our cameras very nice that white stitching looks real good on that brown leather Alrighty, so like we mentioned in the last few videos, this pattern should be available here in the next month or so. Um, the guys are working on it. Um, so as we make it through, we will. We're pretty much going to skip the month of March on the saddlebags, and we're going to do a couple different projects to allow them a little bit of time to get caught up. And then we'll come back and do the cantle bags and the medicine bags um, towards the beginning of April. Um, and maybe at that point, our R&D department will be caught up with the patterns so that we'll have those available to release to you guys so you can make them um, as well. Yeah, yeah, Denny said that they were tootling right along. So hopefully everything will kind of line up real nice here in just like the next few weeks. And we'll have those ready. Next week we'll be doing the holster and um, a leather tie. Yeah. Leather tie. The things that go here. Um, a necktie. A necktie. That is correct. So join us then. Um, yeah, have a great weekend. Yep. See you next week. Bye. Bye.